Hi everyone, I know that I searched this on the internet and I had a really hard time finding exactly what I needed. So after tons of videos, I decided to make one so that it's all in one place for you guys. So today I'm gonna to show you how to add an activity in Seesaw using unique learning or a worksheet that already has items that you would like the students to drag and drop. So I found an activity um, for counting one to 10. So I'm going to add um, the name and I'm gonna name it counting objects one to 10. As you can see, I had already um, tested this and I'm gonna redo it for you guys. So you can type instructions for your students. Um, you're going to, we could say, um, count the objects in each box, then drag the correct number to the empty box. Now, here's what's really important. Um, I know that my aides had given me lots of feedback on information that teachers had done, and it seems like maybe they were choosing the wrong option here. We want to add a template for student responses. That is going to allow them to draw. Um, we can make drag and drop activities, but these are the interactive ones. If you choose um, multimedia instructions or example, it's only gonna upload a PDF. They can't do anything to it. So always choose add template for student responses. So I'm going to upload the worksheet here and I'm gonna select from my computer. And in my downloads here, um, I'm gonna use counting seesaw test. So here is what the worksheet looked like. Now this takes a lot of work on the front end, but for those of us who use these worksheets all of the time, um, we know that these numbers look exactly the same month to month. So my recommendation is just um, using your clip art and um, screenshotting these numbers and saving them to a folder, which is exactly what I did. Um, I use um, this as my screenshot uh, down on the bottom, um, but there are tons of ways to do that. But to make them um, interactive, you're gonna choose this photo button here on the left. And you're gonna choose upload. And like I said, I saved these numbers to my pictures in a folder. I did unique seesaw activities and numbers. And these were all the ones from this one. So I'm going to control shift or right click shift or click shift and then open all these and it's gonna bring them all up. So now all we have to do is resize these. So I'm gonna resize them because I don't know for sure. So I'm gonna move them out of the way just for a second. Oops. Move them over here. Four, make it a little smaller. Three, and two. And now all you're gonna do is drag them over. So the students don't even really know that there were things under until they move it. Um, and then nine, nine's way too big, so we're gonna move it a little. Seven, this size just a little, and four is a little too small. And put them over. And voila, you have your interactive activity. So there's tons of fun things that you can do here. Um, we can add directions. So we can um, put a microphone over it. Um, it's gonna tell me start recording. Count the objects in each box, then drag the correct number to the empty box next to the child. Stop, done. And as you can see, it'll have a play button over there and all they have to do is click it. Count the objects in each box, then drag the correct number to the empty box next to the child. I'll have to get better at making my directions, but that's it. That is all you have to do. And then you would click the checkbox. Here is um, the first page. We, have, we can double check our name. Um, we have student instructions. Um, you can add more, you can add voice instructions here as well, but here's your template. Then you would go to save. Now this activity is in your library. Um, you can assign it to students um, by choosing here. Um, you can, if, as long as you click edit students, you can assign it to just a few in your class. It just really depends on what you need. Um, that way then it shows up in your student's library and um, they have activities to do. I hope that this was helpful. 
Um, if you need anything, as always, feel free to reach out to me. I'm going to put this on my YouTube. You can send a message through there. Leave a comment. Um, let me know what you need next. Have a great day.